and I should be live. Welcome everyone to me trying something new. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while and I finally downloaded it. It went on sale for $5 on Steam and that of course is American Truck Simulator. A game where you do exactly that. You simulate driving a truck. We got Clarkman in the house. He's actually working on a mock right now. I just figured this out. Like, I, I think I'm good to go. I'm, I have a new camera that I'm working with. Audio levels might be completely all over the place. I honestly don't know. So I'm going to do this stream really early in the morning right now just to see if all the technical stuff is okay. And then we can, like, progress into the game at a later time. There's a training mission that I literally just started. I pulled out of this trucking depot. You can kind of see on the mini map down there on the bottom right, you can see, like, the tan area, that's where I pulled out of, and now I'm gonna be driving down the road, ideally. Uh, I What I need from you guys, if you could help me out, is if you could let me know how the audio levels are in the game. Like, I think this is probably okay right now, but I'm gonna have to kind of go back and forth to switch it since I'm on PC. So let's just try this out, let's give it a go. I'm using an Xbox controller to control this because I'm a console guy at heart, and um, yeah, I think it's gonna work. So let's go over into the game. And we'll give this a go. So how do I unpause? Uh, joystick back to unpause. Okay, I'm unpaused. And I'm going to need some audio myself here as well. And we're going to start the truck up, which you press uh, right stick in to start the truck. Truck is started. So you should be hearing a little bit of audio right now, hopefully. Dude, that looks cool, man. Nice job. All right. And... I have this adjusted so I can change my gear. I'm not doing like manual, I'm doing automatic. So all I have to do is just switch the truck into like drive or reverse. And I do that by pressing A or B. So A puts us into automatic, B puts us back into neutral, and then B again puts us in reverse. And you can see that changing on the dashboard there. And I can look all around this. You can hear the truck beeping since I'm in uh, reverse. I also learned how to use my turn signals. Okay, I'll get it here in a little bit. All right, so this is looking around. This is the back of it here. I'm actually streaming right now. Are you serious? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> can you see Mrs. Brickitect in the background? Nope. All right, so we have, we have everything all set up. How's audio? Can you guys hear the audio from this? I guess I'll check it. The problem is when I leave the game, it actually like cuts the audio, so then I can't actually see the levels. So of the people that are here right now, I just all I need for you is just to tell me if, if you can hear the truck engine right now. And I'll start driving so you can hear a little more of that. It's pretty much all you're going to hear, I suppose, so it's not a huge deal. But here we go. We're going to start driving, and it might get a little louder. And you can change the view, too. I think this is like... You, I can zoom out a little bit, which I, I think I might like better. You can see more of the truck inside. Actually, let me just let me just put stop here. Again, this is going to be kind of a technical thing. There's the outside of my truck. I picked this truck out in particular. I didn't pick that driver, though. I don't know who that guy is. But this is my preferred truck. It's like an old school one. Um, let me try this one. Oh, that's cool. It's like you can have a GoPro attached all over it. All right, so there's nine. I think we'll just go with that. That seems appropriate. Okay, I think that's the default one. All right, so let's let's give it a go. Now I have to try to when I'm I'm, I'm going to be turning left up here, and I think what you're supposed to do is actually follow the rules. So I would come up here, turn signal on. You know, you're going to look both ways. Not easy to do with a controller, I'll admit. Uh, but I think we're good. Yeah, let's go. I don't know why I love games like this so much, but I, <laughs> I just really do. All right, this is going to be even more sketchy because we're actually getting onto a road. And as you can see from the bottom right down there, we need to uh, we need to make a right. Okay, you can hear it. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. All right, so we are good to go here. And oh lord, I think I'm cut. <gasps> oh, a cop! <laughs> oh no! I literally just pulled out in front of a cop. And uh, I hit, the cop hit the back of my trailer, I think. <laughs> oh no! It couldn't have gone any worse on my first attempt of American Trucking Simulator. I pull out in front of a cop and he hits the truck. Wow. Okay. You know, things happen. Maybe I'm better off outside the truck. See, now I can actually see. Let's turn my turn signal off. Holy moly. 
Where did he come from? I swear I looked, officer. <laughs> he's he's jacked. Okay, he's right behind me. Let's uh let's get going here. I'm trying to make it up this hill. The truck is not liking it. Is that cop I really feel nervous with this cop behind me of all the times and places for him to be. That was not the place. How do I get some speed on this bad boy? I guess we'll just stick with this. I'm not. I'm just gonna pretend the cops not behind me. While I'm getting off the lines a little bit here. Oh lord. Graphically, this game is definitely lacking. Oh my gosh. That's a little tricky. Could have been bad if somebody else was coming the other way. Hey, another truck up here. Nope, I'm not going to hit him. Probably. On the overpass. Cops still behind me. <laughs> so we're in uh, Bakersfield, California right now. Most of this game takes place out in the west, and there's expansion packs where you can play in various states, which is kind of cool. Let's go back in the truck here. Let's see if I can switch the view. I'm going to have to wait until I get around this turn first. Okay, I'm supposed to make the delivery on time. I'm trying. I got a truck in my way here, and a cop following me, so what do you expect? Oh, there's music inside the truck. I really don't like the music. Can I, can I get rid of the music? I don't like the in-game music at all. Audio... Um, master volume. Radio volume? I wonder if that's the radio or the music. I'm going to turn the music all the way down. I don't mind the music out here. I don't want music in my truck. Okay. Let's see if that turned that off. Drive. Yeah, it seems like it did. Audio okay with this, guys? Can you guys hear the truck? Shouldn't be too loud. I'll go back and listen to it, and it'll be like... Terrible, and no one let me know. <laughs> one minute in, you're already hit a cop. Yeah, you know, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you pull out in front of a cop, and he's, he actually hit me. Ooh, I saw a little bit of slowdown there. I'm playing this in 4K. Ooh, there's oh, yeah. We're doing okay here. I'm smashing the back of that guy. No, we are... We're good to go. He's sailing. Yeah, I'm sailing. Stuck in this Any cops still behind us? I can't see. Because he's following me so closely, I can't see him in my mirror. I blame the police. I think we might be in the clear. Kind of on the berm right now. Let me switch my my view. Let's see if he's behind me still. Nope. Just lots of trucks out here. I'm trying to make my deliveries too. Mm. Kind of sparse in terms of other things happening. All I mean, there's other things. There's a trucking depot right there. Oh, look at the farm equipment, Clark man. <laughs> we should take one of those tractors out. That's kind of neat. Some other cars. It's not too bad. This game came out. I want to say like five years ago, maybe something like that. What do you like, Clark? Man, do you like the outside view like this, where you can see like around the truck, or do you like being inside the truck like that? Inside view. Oh my gosh! Should I overtake this guy? You think I can do this? <laughs> Let's go! Oh god! Oh god! I'm gonna get arrested. I'm gonna get arrested. Welcome to Grand Theft. Grand Theft Truck Simulator. That'll be my series. All right, I think we're in the clear. Oh, use my turn signal. Sorry. All good, baby. Sometimes you have to make those legal passes. I mean, once you hit a cop starting the game out, at that point, everything is fair game.
We are sailing at about 61 miles per hour down this road. I have no idea what the speed limit is because I haven't been watching it. Is SnowRunner better than this? Well, this game you actually get to go places, whereas SnowRunner, it's a lot of getting stuck in one place and not making a lot of progress. So this game, like, the idea is that you have a trucking company and you're trying to make money and grow it bigger. I, I'm not going to hit anyone here. I think we're okay. You take jobs on, delivering things, and you can upgrade your truck. I think you can hire on drivers. You're making, like, a huge trucking company. Which is kind of cool. Hit the auto save point. I know this game isn't going to hit with most of my audience, but I'm totally okay with that because it's just something that I want to play around with and try. Are you? Good job, buddy. Oh, I'm coming up on my delivery point, Clark, man. This is it right here to the left. This is just a training mission, by the way. wonder what my score is going to be. Hopefully they don't have, like, knowledge of me doing stupid stuff. Okay, approach the gate to get clearance to bring in cargo to a particular spot in the delivery terminal. Watch out for an animated beacon marking the spot where to stop the truck. Maybe a good time now to adjust the map scale on the route advisor. I think we're okay. I discovered Huron. Oh nice, I don't even have to back it in. Is this it? Press the following key to handle job delivery. Enter. Well, let me see something once. So it just sits there. Ah, trailer delivery. A skilled truck driver can deal with maneuvering in a tight space and dropping off a trailer. However, cargo safety is top priority. If you do not feel up to the challenge, negotiate with the dispatcher for a backup place to park the trailer. Oh, Lord. Should I play it safe? Or should I try backing it in? You know what, since it's a training mission, let's try backing it in. Why not, right? Proceed to the unloading area. Head towards the red flag on your map. Okay. Red flag on my map. I'm assuming that... Oh, I see it, I see it. Okay. We got this. I have to back it in over here. Oh, mother lard. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull her up over here. This is probably my, the worst decision I've ever made. i got to put it in reverse. Freaking jackknife this thing. Oh, sh This is not... <laughs> this is going to be harder than I thought. Um... We're going to hit that other stuff over there now. <gasps> okay, okay. Let's pull it forward again. I don't think I'm being timed on this. So we'll put it into drive. We'll get her straightened out. Don't hit this old man. Alright. Straight back. Oh, put it in reverse. Nothing too crazy now. Crap, I'm gonna hit that thing. I'm hitting it a little bit. Oh crap, we're getting all No 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 no. Let's um let's pull it forward a little bit. Why does this little trailer thing have to be here? Dude, that's not cool. All right. Reverse again. How do I want to do this? Like that. Also, how close do I have to be?
pretty darn close. All right, we don't want to back it up too far. Put it in drive again. Yes! yes. Unload and start playing on your own. All right. Um, cargo is ready for unloading. Press the following key to detach a trailer. Oh, press Y. Hey, that wasn't too bad. What'd you think? I'll take that. That was my first back-end job. Used 19.8 gallons of gas. Hit one police officer and did one illegal pass on the road. Still got paid 2300 bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you guys for tuning into my, my little test stream here. Basically just trying to... World of Trucks. <laughs> World of Trucks. Just trying to see how I can stream this and stuff and if the audio and all that stuff's good. But that was pretty cool. I like SnowRunner better. <laughs> you like SnowRunner better? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That game... I don't feel like I'm making much progress in there. It is fun, though. This is my headquarters. Oh, my gosh. We're starting from the bottom, Clark, man. Look at our headquarters. It's got trash outside. Pretty basic garage. It must, might not be much, but it's a start. Agreed. Unfortunately, you don't have anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once, you're, once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you will be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. Good luck. Okay. You can see your progress. Pick your next job. Okay. We need a job, Clark, man. Hey, how's the audio, guys? Are we good with the truck sounds? Are you hearing the, the rumbling of the engine? That's basically the only thing to hear in this game. Get hired as a professional driver. No fuss. Everything is provided for. Just pick a job and drive. Is that my only option? Yeah, I guess it's my only option. Quick job. Okay, I can pick. Ooh, with different trucks, too. Cool. I get paid six grand for this one. Bakersfield to Nevada. Holy smokes. I kind of want to do a short one, actually. What's the shortest one that I can do? Bakersfield to Los Angeles. That sounds kind of cool, right? Empty pallets. Empty pallets. Bakersfield to Santa Cruz. That's a really short one. Concrete tubes. 581 per mile. That one doesn't pay very well. Wow, this one pays a lot. Bakersfield to Oxnard. It's 1649 a mile. Holy smokes. I'm going to go for the one that pays the most per mile. That one's $23 per mile. $18 per mile. $25 per mile. That's a, that's a really long trip, though. Let's go for like the best bang for our buck on the shortest trip. I think this one that's the short one here from Bakersfield to Oxnard for $16. It's pretty good. Although this one though, if I go Bakersfield to Fresno. Sawdust panels. It's $23 per mile. I think I'm just going to do that one. In the Mack truck. Let's take that job. $23 per mile, it's not that long. Perfect, okay, thank you guys. Oh yeah, I should change the setting, get a setting so that paid most per mile. I felt like this was like the one that like the shortest with the most money. Look at my new truck too, sick. All right, let's fire this bad baby up. Nice. Nice, let's get a look at the outside and see what it looks like. Oh no, it's a double. I'm definitely not backing this one in. I think there's a hinge point between those. That's going to be problematic. All right. Let's put her into drive. And let's skedaddle. Yeah, we are not backing this one in. When we get to our spot, we're just going to take the easy money and move on to the next one. I didn't know it was a double trailer. Speed bump. Let's try not to hit a police officer on our way out here, guys. Okay. Probably helps that I'm outside the truck, too. So we can look. Put my turn signal on. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Did we come to the busiest place in Bakersfield here or what? <laughs> oh 
Holy. Mmm. We might just have to nudge our way out and say, what the heck. Wait for this guy to go. After this guy, I'm go. Oh, he's turning. Okay, great. Come on, come on. Get this truck to go by, and we are, we are good to go. All right, slowpoke. Don't hit my trailer, bro. All right, rolling in the truck. Let's get it. 490,000 miles on this thing. They got me running the scrub routes over here. Oh, should we stop for lunch, Clark, man? I'm out for the McFries. Oh, we're getting on the highway. Okay, turn signal. Turn signal. We're going to Fresno, baby. Cut my turns wide. Oh, turn signal automatically turns off. Cool. Buddy, get going. Buddy, go. Dude, you're going to ruin my life here. We were just going to... Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Make me stop right at the bottom of this. Terrible idea. Right, we are good to go. 5.18 p.m., I'm assuming. Time seems to be moving rather quickly in this truck. It's now 5.20. 5.21. I think I might be in some type of time warp in another dimension. Oh, lay. Slow it down there, bud. Get on the CB, Clark, man. Talk to that guy. Hey there, driver. You got your ears on? Here's my truck from the outside. He did an illegal thing. He went to the side. He did an illegal thing? Yeah, he was on the, on the left side, and now he went on your side. Oh, speaking of doing illegal things, I'm switching lanes here. I'm just checking my truck out. Don't switch lanes. What are we taking? Salt? Sawdust or something like that, I think is what we're hauling. Sawdust? It paid good money. I'll haul anything for good money. Dead bodies. Drugs across the border, you know. I'll work for the Mexican cartel going across U.S. Customs. If the, if the money's right. $25 a mile, I'll do it. The parking will be so bad. Will it be? Alright, we gotta make a pass here. Oh, goodness gracious. This guy is really slowing it up. All right, we need to, uh, I got an idea. Zing. Get inside the truck. Check my mirror. <laughs> I, I checked my mirror, but then I was over. I'm, I'm gonna pass this guy. He's going so slow, but then in doing that, I, I got all dinked up. Okay. No, it wasn't, well, it was a little legal. I should have, should have definitely checked better. I got a car passing me on the right. He's mad. Look how angry that guy is right there. He's like, bro! He didn't hit the back of that guy. He might. Oh, gosh. We're getting up to speed now, too. I'm just going to stay in the passing lane for now. I don't think I'm causing any trouble. I think I might, I think I'm supposed to be in this lane. I'm going to switch over. Because we might be getting off here. We're just coasting at this point. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Speed limit's 55. Oh, we got some construction up here. Wow! Alright, get over, buddy. Come on. God, I'm such a nice driver. Now my truck's just freaking dinked out here because I stopped. Ugh. These four-wheelers out here, guys. I'll tell you what. Life in the trucking world is a tough one. Dealing with all these bad drivers. People flying up behind me. This guy coming to complete stop there. It's what I deal with on a regular basis as a truck driver out here. Get back over. All right, we all good here? 
It's now 7.21. I've been driving for two hours out here in Clarkville. Can you believe that? Good use of turn signals there. Yep, it's a Mack truck. I can't even remember where we're going. What's our destination? I don't even remember anymore. I looked at too many jobs. I'm going somewhere. Am I going to Fresno? I can't even remember. I think it's Fresno. Yeah, this is California. Downtown Fresno. I've got this game for five dollars. Isn't that a great deal? It's a part of Steam's winter sale. Alright, we're getting off up here. The sale ends today at like 10 a.m. or something like that. So if you want this game, now's your time. Alright, we, we are we really need to slow her down here, boys. Not that slow. Gotta make it up this hill. Oh lord. Cop. <gasps> what? Please don't be after me. I've fallen the rules, officer. I don't think he's after me. I think we're good. Holy smokes, that was a little scary. No, he's he's gone. Don't be turning your lights on at me. I've already had a run-in with the law. Literally. Quite literally had a run-in with the law in my last training episode. Anybody from Fresno? Does this look like your hometown? Fresno discovered. Let's go. Fresno, the town of traffic lights. What do we got over here? What's this place? Mickey D's. Oh, it's a Mickey D's with an M. There's a ha massive sale going on. Maybe going out of business. Look at all that stuff. Thankfully, our destination is, looks to be just up here after a few turns. Yeah. More cops. Act natural, Clark man. Can we take a right on red? Nothing to see here, Mr. Officer. There's a motel. Okay, this is where things get a little sketch. We got, um... Is there a light there? No light. I'm drifting backwards right now, which isn't cool. Alright, we're, we're going. Easy. One more right turn and my destination is up here. Their spot right up here, Clark Man. Oh, they're not gonna let me make a. They're like, I can't go forward through this. Apparently, it's not in the game. It's in the game. There's my place. Pla What's it? Plaster or something? Plaster. Um, Plaster and Sons. Okay, here we go.
Hey, oh, whoops, whoops. I am so sorry, sir. You had the right of way there. I am, I deeply apologize. I was a little nervous going to my first day at my new job here. A little nervous. Oh. No, I can do this. Where should I place it? Yeah, I can do that. I think I just have to pull it forward, right? If I'm not backing it up, I can do that. No problem. I should definitely have let that guy go, though. I. Oh, Lord. Look at that. This place is sketchy. They pay good, though. I should have let that guy go. That was not my left turn to make. Right around here. Easy, easy, easy. Easy money. $25 per mile. Making great money. And we press Y to detach. No trouble? No trouble? Okay. No trouble. <laughs> they don't they don't get you they don't get you on traffic violations and stuff apparently. That cop definitely scared me though when he turned his lights on. I thought it was on me, but I wasn't doing anything wrong. So I got paid how much? Twenty five hundred dollars for that and got some XP. Fantastic. Ooh. Should we do another job, Clark Man? Let's check the job market and see what we got. Oh we got some emails. Maybe somebody's reaching out to me for uh, for my expertise in trucking. Uh, need money, we can help. We thought you might like to know that we can offer favorable loans to your new business. Ooh. I don't want to go into debt, though. You need funding to get your business running? We're here to help. Ah, I think I'm going to do it on my own. Dear sir or madam, we're certified retailer of Kenworth Trucks. We offer a wide selection of different configurations and can also perform customizations to accommodate any special wishes. Please visit our showroom in Los Angeles. The truck you have always dreamt of might be waiting just behind the door. Well, you guys are really tempting me here. They want me to go in debt to buy a new place and to get my truck. You know what? I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. Putting some elbow grease in here. Oh, wait. I got some skills. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Yes. Um, this guy looks like, um, Knuckles. Cool. <laughs> um, where should I put my skill? I think I'll hold that for now. We'll, we'll wait for that, because I don't know what's going to be important or not. Progress. The bank. I got loan offers. Oh my god. $100,000 for $1,800 per day. I don't leave the, I can't make enough money to even pay that back, I don't think. I mean, maybe this one. But I'm good for now. Let's just do another job. Let's go to the job market here. We'll see what we can do. Hey! Morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning. American Truck Simulator. We're going to go to Quick Jobs. Should we sort by how much they pay? That was a great idea, whoever had that. Let's do the most much. Sort by price per distance? Yeah, price per distance, I think. Is this it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. $31 per mile. I got $100. Is that what I'm looking for? Let's get yeah, some. Yeah, so that one's... Where I could sort by route length. Let's get something that's like 10 miles. Which gets like really small ones. 100. So these ones are like terrible. That, that price per distance is terrible. These ones are fantastic. So $31 per mile on this one. We're taking a frack tank with that. Going from Fresno to San Rafael. Are we still in Fresno right now? I guess it really doesn't matter. They probably just jump you into wherever you need to be. I don't have to drive there, that's the thing. Should we take the frack tank, Clark, man? That's some good money. Let's, let's take the highest paying job they have. This one's probably a little dangerous, I imagine. So th three hours, 16 minutes on that one, 238. 153 miles. That one's 214. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Taking a freight liner. Let's do that job. How do I start the job?
Okay, I have to click take job down here. Let's do it. Take job. Hey, Dad, look, there's a mint truck. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at our truck. It looks like a deuce. Definitely a much newer truck than anything I've driven before. <laughs> Fire it up. Oh, I'd like to be in the truck for that. Wow. We are in the lap of luxury. Look at this place. <gasps> microwave? Got a microwave in here? Wow. I guess we should get this truck for ourselves. <laughs> this might be the truck that I end up getting. This is really nice inside. Let's see how it drives, though. That's the real thing. Mm -hmm. Throw it into uh, first gear and... I mean, cook some macaroni and cheese. Wait, where am I even parked at? I think I have to go out this way. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. Ooh. Let's not hit anything. Are we going to be driving at nighttime? I wonder. Because it looks like it's evening right now. It's Monday at 10.47 p.m. Yikes. We're going to be going through the night, boys. That's all right. Oh, my GPS is in the truck, too. You see that? Yeah. And I have the speed limit on there as well. Not that we... Listen to that in any way. Here we go. Let's hit the road for a night of driving. Um, I don't know how to turn my lights on. I don't, hopefully they come on automatically. I don't know how to do that. I'm sure they're probably not on right now. Ah, yeah, we got some lights on. I don't think those are the actual lights that I want to use, though. Let me check the, uh, maybe check the controls. Um, options, controls. Maybe that's not it. Keys and buttons, maybe. Shifting. Trailer brake. Light modes. Left on the D-pad. High beam headlights I can't do on the controller. That's whack. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll try the left on the D-pad and we'll see what happens. As we drive here. Hey. Okay, let's keep on the road. Oh, God. Alright, we'll just stick with that. I apparently don't have high beams. Cool. Cool. I'll take that. Let's get inside the truck. Give it a run in here. We've got two hours and 57 minutes until we hit our destination. We're, we're speeding right now. We got the red there where it says 59 miles per hour, 60. This thing definitely sends a little bit faster than my last one. I gotta learn how to use the horn. What's the control for using the horn? Let's look that up. <laughs> I think that would be kind of fun. All right, so let's go back into options. Let's go into keys and buttons. I'm sure the horn's on here somewhere, right? Horn. Joy s left stick. Joy left stick. Oh, do I push it in? Let's give that a shot. Yep. I was expecting more of like a truck horn. Like a uh, uh. Oh, we're going 70. Wait, what's the speed limit in here? 55. Okay, we want to slow her down a little bit. You can hit C and go into cruise control too, which is kind of cool. Right past these guys. We got jobs to do. Very important package. How's the sun still up at 10.46 p.m.? This seems kind of crazy. Howdy, partner. <laughs> All right. We're in the clear. I'm going 67. I need to slow her down. I don't want the fuzz coming after me. 
I've already had issues with the cops. Maybe we're in Alaska where it never becomes nighttime. <gasps> it only turns at night at like 13 o'clock at night. 13 o'clock. Let's, let's see if the lights actually make a difference. Oh yeah, they do. Big time. Getting off here, boys. You know you can play this game in VR, Clark, man? What? Wouldn't that be cool to play this in VR? <laughs> Where you're like sitting inside the truck and when you look around you would look elsewhere and see all your stuff. I think that'd just be so awesome. Yeah, but what if, what, do you have to walk when you're driving? No. No, you just sit there, but when I look left and right, like inside the truck, it would feel as though you're actually inside the truck. Which would be really cool. Some people get like pranked with VR. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's this game that I want to try in VR that's like... It, it acts as though you're at the top of this building and you have to walk ac across this plank. And some people just physically can't do it. Even though they know that they're inside a VR world, they they just physically can't walk off this building. I'd like to try it. Like, I don't want to buy the game and not be able to do it, though. It'd be scary, though. i got to figure out if I can stream some VR stuff for you guys. I have an Oculus Quest, and I would love to stream some games from it. I gotta figure out how to do it. I know why um, they don't want to do it because they feel like their self is falling off the edge. Right, but in your mind, you know, like you're in a safe place. Like you are in your house. You're not standing on the ledge. But your mind is like, don't do it. Don't die. We're in the middle of nowhere out here, guys. You think there's any cops out here? Because I could put the pedal to the metal, but we're going to keep it at 60 miles per hour. I just close my eyes in the game and I just jump off. <laughs> Did you ever see people like jump through their televisions and stuff while they're playing VR games? That's kind of cool. We got a turn coming up here, boys. Boy, these jobs go pretty quickly. Oh my gosh, it's finally dark. <gasps> yeah, it's very dark. Where is my turn? I gotta turn the like the gamma up or something. Go full speed ahead. Because it definitely looks brighter on my screen than it does for you guys. If you guys, it looks like you can't see anything. You're going so slow. Yeah, I'm making a turn here. I shouldn't. Only go on like ten. One thing I learned is that you don't want to come to a stop while you're driving this because it takes forever for it to get back up to speed. You you kind of want to just slow down as much as you need to. There's Hotel California. All good there. Oh, San Francisco, nice. We are 48 miles from our job, now 47. Or a destination, I should say. I'm doing the job. Oh, shoot. I'm going 70 right now. It's hard not to go as fast as you possibly can. Is that where I'm going? San Rafael? I feel like that's where I'm going. Right lane. Getting over. San Rafael, this exit. Oh lord, okay, let's not wreck it up around this thing. Easy. Twenty nine miles to my destination. These jobs go really quickly, I have to say. Driving all across California goes fast. <laughs> I think they cut out a lot of the nonsense. Oh, I'm going 74. 
let's cool that off a little bit. back up here oh stop okay we're good I guess everybody's getting off at San Rafael exit today must be a popular place for trucks maybe Love you, babe. I'll be right back. We gotta go see the missus off. Sorry for leaving you folks. We have to finish our job here. Where are we at? All right, I gotta make a left turn here. Oh, there's probably so many people behind me right now. <laughs> oh my God. I backed up the whole exit, Clark, man. I should have probably paused it. Crap, that probably messed up my time. Dang it. I should have paused the, I should have paused the game because that whole time I was sitting there was like I wasn't driving and they're expecting this load in a reasonable amount of time, I would imagine. That's okay. We had to take a break. Where the heck are we here? This is the place. I feel like I'm going to get murdered out here. Where do you need it? Yeah. Wait a minute. Let's play it safe. Where do you need it? Let's go big. Oh, I have to back it in there. I'll just take... Ah, uh, sugar shack. Frigate, let's do the where do you need it. Oh, God. Okay, I have to back it in there. Easy. Even though I can't see a darn thing. Oh my gosh. Doing this at nighttime? What was I thinking? <gasps> that was that was on me. Oh lord. Um I can't even see where my trailer is, honestly. Oh, this was this was a terrible idea. Just um I'm gonna skip the points. <laughs> I skipped the points. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I skipped the points because I was I, I did not want to risk it. Alright, I'm almost up to level two. Hopefully I didn't count me hitting the truck off of the wall there right at the last second. I don't think I got tagged for that, but I just uh, did a frack tank delivery from Fresno to San Rafael. And that was pretty cool. I, I, I'm enjoying this game. I think it's a lot of fun. 
I'm gonna probably play more of this. I don't know if anyone cares to watch, but I think it's I think it's neat. I like the different trucks. I like doing the trips. Oh, if you guys want to see the person I chose for my avatar, he's the guy up in the top right there. I felt like that guy represented me as a driver, uh, so I picked him, and then I picked my um, my truck is the is that red truck right there. I felt like that was kind of a cool like vintage one. And then I called my company Mother Truckers. You can see that kind of down in the middle here, and. Uh, that's our logo. It's a it's an eagle, a screaming bald eagle flying against a blue background. So we're making some money. We got eleven grand in the bank. We got a we got a place. We got a truck. Actually, we don't have a truck yet. We have a place. This is just like I think a holding screen. But we got lots of jobs in the market, and I'm definitely going to be coming back and playing around with this. So hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me as we play around on American Trucking Simulator. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me and and just being a part of it. So I uh, hope you have a glorious rest of your day, and we'll see you guys.